Hey everyone, it's update time once again, and we have some very exciting things to share, so let's get right to it. We're starting to roll out our first batch of UI changes that we think will make your RebNote experience more enjoyable. Let's start with the sidebar. Alongside a new polished look, the sidebar can now be accessed with just a hover of your cursor. And to toggle it open, use the arrow symbol by your account name. Adding documents can now be accessed through the plus sign, and you can also right-click on any document in the sidebar to view the document properties. We've also simplified the settings and moved all help functions to a new location at the bottom right corner. Next, we've also redesigned the document toolbar to be cleaner and more user-friendly. It's now easier to manipulate your REM flashcards using this first icon. And we've enabled backwards only practicing. The next icon allows you to change your REM type. And the third icon modifies the content type. And lastly, we've tidied up parent REM by removing the text that appears when children were added. You can now long hover or right click on a bullet to pull up a box to search through descendants of that REM. This just adds another way to navigate your REM. Legacy options in settings can be toggled if you prefer to see the text below the parents. As mentioned, this is just the first batch of UI changes and we're excited to keep them coming. Next on the list are the queue and knowledge base redesign. So stay tuned and feel free to send us any feedback. Next up, we've completely revamped the entire mobile experience. If you open up RemNote in any browser on mobile, you'll see the sidebar actually sits at the top of the screen with some new icons. Let's go over what they do from left to right. This icon will sync your data if you're connected to the internet. The lock icon will toggle between read-only mode, making it easier to read your documents without fear of making unintentional edits. Next is the thought queue. If you click thought queue, you'll immediately enter editor mode. And this was designed to help you quickly jot down notes on the go, or they'll be saved into your thought queue document. The queue button starts a session of your flashcards. And finally, the last icon will allow you to view all your documents. We've also made the editor toolbar more friendly for mobile. It has dedicated icons for indentation, navigation, card editing, hiding rem, and deleting rem. You can also indent or outdent rem with the swipe of your finger. The mobile editor also supports markdown formatting. For example, you can bold characters like so. We're also very happy to announce that the mobile app will now be open for beta testing for all Android users. This is a huge update and we're really excited about it. You can now use RemNote offline, study from your queue, and take notes. You can find the link to download the app in the description or on Twitter, or just check out the RemNote update page. Next up on the list, we have some more editor improvements. RemNote now supports chemistry LaTeX. Simply type backslash CE and input chemistry equations. A few new portal upgrades are also available. You can move multiple REM into portals by highlighting them all and using the hotkey Control Shift Enter. You can also move portals up and down with Alt plus up and down. We also have a new feature called Merge. This allows you to merge a REM from one parent into another very quickly. Type forward slash merge or use the hotkey Control Shift Alt E. Then select the new parent for your REM and hit enter. We've also expanded export options for REM at a document specific level. For example, you can now export specific documents to Anki instead of your entire knowledge base. API permissions also received an update. You can now restrict plugins and API keys 
to have access only to specific documents, making your data more secure overall. We hope these new improvements make Remnote a more enjoyable experience. Thank you for your continued support. Feel free to let us know how we're doing on Twitter or consider joining our Discord community. We'll see you next time. Thank you.